nervous. Like, I, I could puke or pee right now. <laughs> It is 12:27 on the Saturday before the cruise goes live for everyone to start booking. Just to give you some reference. Hi, Jimmy. Hello. We are doing something kind of interesting today. Interesting and scary. It's a little scary. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, just disregard the like routine stuff behind me, but. We're going to the place outside, outside of Chiang Mai, here outside of town. It's a sanctuary for something that might be a little interesting. And it's not elephants. Chiang Mai is in for elephants. It's not elephants. It's not elephants. I have a lot to do today, and it's already noon. So we will be up late. We don't sleep anymore, in case you guys didn't know that. We, since we started these daily videos, I don't think we've gone to bed before 2 a.m. So there, now you know. We're at Tiger Kingdom, which is actually a tiger sanctuary. Now, before you pick us apart, understand that we are here because we want to find out. Uh, we have heard they don't drug the tigers, and then we've heard from other people that they do. So, we're going to get in cages with the tigers today, a baby one and a big one each. And we're going to see if we think they've been drugged. So, we can suggest to you if you should come or not. So we're gonna try this out. Let's hope we don't get mauled. Like, for real. Okay, so. We got our tickets. We're, I struggle, we, I think it's, I think it's cheaper online. It's probably like it's cheaper online. Even though you buy the tickets here. Some of that, that the prices are more money here. It's 1,500 baht per person if you wanna do a large cat and a small one, which is what we did, because we thought that kind of gives you a good idea of what's happening. And you get in a cage with three of them <laughs> to take pictures with the big ones, so I'm freaking out, not gonna lie. Uh, and you sign an insurance waiver that if you get mauled or attacked or have any in injury, their insurance will pay for it. So there's that. 3,000 baht for both of us to do it is $95. This is our big thing. We don't usually spend this much money on stuff like this. No, but that's kind of once in a lifetime opportunity and we'll see what the hype is. Everybody says they're not drunk, so I wanted to see that. Hopefully that's true. But uh, you have option to get hiring a photographer for each cage. It's 300 baht, uh, 300 baht for each uh, cage you go to. Then an additional 300 uh, if you want a USB. It comes on a CD player, a uh, CD, but who has a CD, a CD drive? We don't. Anymore. I just bought a CD from one of the local bands I saw here. <laughs> and and they I, were like, oh wait. I don't know why I bought it, because I didn't have nothing to play it on until we, we go back to the States. So anyway, uh, 600 bought if you want a USB and a CD for 30 pictures, um, which is kind of cool. We didn't have a camera, yeah. but there's both of us. So we're going to try to do this ourselves and get photos and video and, and make this thing happen for you guys. So I'm nervous. Like, I, I could puke or pee right now. <laughs> All right, so we're at the babies. Oh my goodness, I'm actually really excited about the little ones. So we take off our shoes and leave our bag. Only can take the camera. Huh? Oh my god! We're now in a closed cage with some Bengal tigers. This is crazy. Get Ten minutes to play with them, and I'm so excited. It's really cool, you get to do the most personal, but he's also showing us you can do the, it's crazy, like they retract and they come out, it's like cats, like legal cats. The big long teeth, that's, that's so cool. So, so cool. What a awesome experience. So cool. <laughs> There's so much fun, oh my gosh. Uh, they were definitely active. 
they were all. Oh, he just got. Oh, I'm tired. Taking a nap now. <laughs> so at least small cats. Thumbs up. You have your own tiger. Ten minutes. Like ten minutes. It just like you do whatever you want. Take pictures. Epic uh, bucket list right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You, uh, so you have to hire. They want you to hire a photographer, but the guy in there, the handler, took yeah, pictures for us. Yeah, yeah, he was really cool. So uh, nice people. All right. Time for the big ones. We're waiting to see the big tiger. She'll call us. The only thing that's between us and a, and a giant tiger is, is a couple of ti <laughs> time in. This is happening right now. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Staring at me. He's staring at us. Yeah. Oh, I Music to our. That's me. Look. That's amazing. <laughs> I know. It's hung out in the whole thing. Look. Oh yeah. He's smiley. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. They, I mean, they get into it. The people that are the handlers are pretty fun. Oh, yeah. They're definitely like, good at their job and like what they do. You can tell. You think you're going to get to just see one? There's three in the cage. And, and they, they rotate. They go, oh, time's up. And we're like, oh, okay. And then we go to the other tiger. We're like, oh. so there's... I swear we were in there longer than 10 minutes. Yeah, we were, we got to see three different tigers, uh, which is. is pretty cool. Hang out with them and take pictures and videos. Yeah. They're not, they don't seem drunk to me. I mean, awake. I'm not a, not a vet, but I mean, they're nocturnal animals. They're not you see them in the daytime anyway. They've been around humans since, since they were born in captivity. They all look well, well cared for. I mean, think about it, the babies. They start them at three months old with humans, so they're used to people by the time they get big like this. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I was looking and paying really close attention. None of them seemed drug to me. They opened their eyes, they raised their heads, they moved their paws. They didn't look to me to have been sedated to just be lifeless, because they weren't. They were moving for sure. Yeah, I didn't get that. Didn't get that vibe. I had a great time. Yeah. That was amazing. That's good. That was it was. Amazing. I mean, we're. Man, I had a little problem with the money at first. I got mad because I felt like a hundred dollars a lot of money. Because I thought I'm just gonna get to pet a tiger for two minutes. But they let you be in the cages for ten minutes. I know we were with the tigers for fifteen, and you just. It's really. It's fun. You get to land, roll around on the floor with baby tigers, like worth a hundred bucks for both of us, like. Do it, y'all. You come in here to do the whole thing with the tigers and stuff. If you have a big group, I'd, I'd might I'd suggest pretending it's separate. Coming in shifts. Because if you come in a group of five, it's the same time as a group of two, like mm -hmm. we had. So uh, you get less less animal time. Yeah. If you don't want to pay for the photographer, be animated, fun, and friendly, and the people that work in there will take your camera for you, and they will take incredible photos. Throw them a tip. Mm. That's what we did. Pro tip. Pro, Pro tip. tips. <laughs> when you come out here, it's pretty far out, 
so you have to figure out a way to get here and get back. A lot of times you can renego you can negotiate uh, with a tuk-tuk driver or a Songtao driver uh, to get where you need to go. He'll wait for you and come back. It costs six. I think it was last time six hundred bucks, like the lowest offer. But we took a Grab uh, or actually Uber from our apartment two out here, which is two hundred and twenty, I think, right? That's gonna be almost three hundred for us to go back to the mall near where we live. Uh, we have to get some stuff there. I have to get my minutes recharged on my phone. So it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than getting a person waiting for us. It kinda sucks because you have to wait till you find someone in the area to pick up the, the fare. So we're waiting, it's now like 12 minutes till he gets here, so. We uh, were able to share a Uber with uh, two guys from Croatia. They were looking for a place, to, or a car ride back to the city as well. Nothing really you could find, so they agreed to split the cab fare with us. So Amanda had a nice little nap in the front seat while we were crammed in the back of like a Geo Metro. So, oh. There's always something going on in this place, isn't there? Look at it. It's tonight. Some kind of band type something rather. Active Chiang Mai. I don't think we qualify. <laughs> Put the profile. This is actually the very ground floor of the mall. And so you come and they have this whole food section. So they have little restaurants over on the sides. They have a grocery store. And then they have some delicious looking like local market type street food. And it's priced the same way. What are you doing? It's like, you've them on a string, it's kind of cool. It's little sausages. Little sausages? They're pork, so I asked to get a whole link of them, and they're pretty, pretty hot. If you want fish, you got fish. You want to grab squid. Little, little squid. Look at this. Now this is all the curries. Look at the curry! It may feel weird for you guys to buy curry from a basement of a mall, but... So good. There's all the fragrant smells here, but it's weird. It doesn't go. Through. You don't smell it in the rest of the mall. It's just like the minute here. you get on the escalator to come down here, you're like, ooh, right. in the mall. And here we are. All this, all this stuff. What's really great too, if you don't know what something is and you try to ask them, they'll try to answer you. But a lot of time, a local will help you too, so which is really nice. Just, that's just cool about Thailand is like they're all so big, nice. Big, yeah, they're so nice and friendly. Like, oh, this one's good. That one's not so good. You know, they, they'll tell you because they know the other people don't speak, speak English anyway, so they'll tell you if it's good or not. <laughs> Makes you kind of yeah, nervous. Said it, I mean, warning that, my warning that isn't a big a deal like you think no. it is. Yeah. Just do it. Cotton candy burrito dessert. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Try all the cool things, you guys. It's the cost is probably what five, six bucks for all that stuff. That. I feel like we're on the cooking channel today. I'm yeah. in Royal Lagasse. We have our also have our evening wear on, which is probably not the best thing to have for filming, but this is her time. Is yeah, we're, yeah. This is weird. China shop right now. The contents of the bag are Thai cotton candy that actually looks like hay and pancake burrito things. 
They're Thai tortillas. They look to be made out of melons. Melon, but there's also black sesame in here, which I love. They, they were making these fresh when we bought this. Like, these were hot when we got them. So, Put it on. so we don't know how to do this. I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> Was that like a face? <laughs> like a face. Is that corn? Look how thin they are. Here's my hand. My hands are clean. Oh, uh, I don't know about this. It feels like cotton candy, but it smells it really? like corn. Yeah, it does smell weird. The thing is, is the picture, they had it like packed with stuff. Is there a taste difference between the brown and the green? I don't like it. Should we do both? That's a lot. Should I do less? I'm making this for you, by the way. This smells like sugar cookie dough. Does it really? It's not. Oh, I mean, I like the pancake. Okay, get in there. Go, right. time to go. Here we go. Yep, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Um, it tastes like corn? No. No? Not at all. No. No way. I, no, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a like cookie dough and a pancake, right? And the cotton candy, but it has consistency cotton candy, like that kind of thready, like sugary taste, like texture. Mm hmm. It's just sweet. I mean, it tastes like it. Just like we both just need therapy. I think at this point. Yeah, this is good. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Why are we doing? I'm gonna try green. Oh my god. This is really good. Ooh. That was green different. It looks so weird, but it's so good. Why haven't I seen this before? Why is this not like more of a platform thing? Well, we're gonna finish this off with my friends tonight and go back to editing. But uh hope you guys enjoyed looking at a little sample of our street food from the from the mall. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. You never know what you're gonna love and what you're gonna have. Yeah, there's always like everyone every, every, every corner is always like new stuff. Anyway, as always guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we, we appreciate you subscribing to our channel. I'll make it better and grow and get more views. Bye. Okay.